What's up, what's good world? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Plutonian. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got my hair like this, how I got my seam hair, how I clip my extensions in. And this is my favorite hairspray. It works the best, so this is the one I suggest you get. You don't have to get the big one. You can get the little one at Walgreens too. And it's super good. You don't need much or else your hair will stay like this for like a week. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, let's get into it. Hey. So this is my hair after I take a shower and I let it dry. So now I gotta straighten it. And honestly, it's really fried because I bleached my hair three times to get it from uh, black to pink and green. But yeah, I'm taking some tea tree oil, some argan oil, just as like heat protectant and kind of help revive my hair, make it nice and shiny. I'm using a straightener. I bought this one at Ross. And the first step I'm doing is sectioning off the layers of my head so i'm starting at the bottom and then i'm just straightening all that out and i straighten pretty slow so i'll put the hair in the straightener and then i'll clamp it and i'll go down slow not slow enough to like fry your hair but just go down slow and then that way you don't have to straighten it a billion times it'll f straighten faster if you go in very slow but yeah that's what i do and then once i get to the top layer i pick a side so sometimes I'll have green my dominant side, sometimes I'll have pink my dominant. This day I'm feeling green. So I'm going to straighten all my hair going to the left. So yeah, the green side is on my right. So I just push all my hair over to the left and I straighten it that direction. And I brush it and add oil as needed. There you go. Bam, bam. Looking good. So now the next step is straightening all of my hair extensions. So I'll straighten as I go. I'll grab them, brush them through, make sure all the knots are out, and then I'll straighten them. And they're long, so I would get, like, fed up real quick. I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste my time making sure they're super straight. So I'll just straighten them a little bit. And then here I am unclipping all the clips. I'm lifting up all of my hair, like all of it. And I'm just going to clip the four clip extensions. I'll list where I got the extensions in the description. But I'm just clipping them to the bottom of my head. And it, this does feel a little uncomfortable. But once you mess around with the clips and adjust them so they feel right. You could put it like above your ear. I just mess with them until they feel comfortable. And then now I'm taking another four clip hair extension. Straightening it out. And then I'll section off my hair like a little bit above that clip so maybe like half of an inch or maybe it's a whole inch but wherever you want just clip it back there and make sure all the clips are secure so that they don't fall out when you like shake your head or run your fingers through your hair and now i'm taking a three clip of the solid pink straightening it brushing it and clipping it in and I do it just above my ear and then I'll clip it back there sometimes the back looks bad but once you get to the top layer of extensions it covers everything up so I suggest just keep it keep looking behind your head and making sure no tracks are showing and then now I'm just going about an inch above where I put the other track the previous one and clipping that hair extension in there cool looks good i need to do my roots but whatever now to go on the green side i'm taking two more of the three clip extensions and doing the exact same thing so i'll put one up right above my ear and then another three clip extension like an inch above the one i'm putting in and if you have a rat tail comb it will be easier and neater to section your hair i just use my nails and it's always lopsided and, and not nice looking but it doesn't matter it's seen hair like it could look bad or it could look messy we'll say that all right here i'm taking another one just straightening it out going kind of slow and just do it till it looks straight enough you don't want when you do your extensions you don't want your straightener on super high because sometimes it could suck the color out depending on the brand and depending on if you used conditioner to dilute it and get it lighter sometimes the color will just come right out so be careful getting it your flat iron too hot now we're adding in the cute ones so i made these heart 
hair extensions. They are so adorable. My next video will be me showing you how I made them. But here's where it gets all seen. So yeah, I got these pink hearts. And this one, I try to get it super straight just so that you could see the hearts. And if some clips uh, are in the way, you can just move them around on your head. Adjust everything. Here are the green hearts. There's like two hearts at the top, a heart in the middle, two hearts, and then a row of hearts going down. And I like to clip in all the like the really cute scene style clips on the top of my head and like in the front where you will see them. So here's a raccoon tail. And this is where you can have fun, get creative. You could change them literally every day and just clip them here, clip them there. When I was younger, I, I would just dye my hair like this. I wouldn't have the extensions. I would just like start doing the raccoon tails on the hair that grew out of my head. But yeah, this time I like how I could just clip them in so that that way I could add them to wigs. I could just get more use out of them. These ones are my favorite. So they're checkerboard. And if you've seen my TikTok, I got a bunch of views on making checkerboard hair extensions. So that was really awesome. It made me feel so happy and like inspired to keep doing hair videos. So I am going to start selling hair extensions so that you don't have to make them yourself. And I'll just make them for you. You could buy them and you can clip them in your head and look cute. As I clip in all of the extensions, I fill around my head, make sure none of them are loose and they all feel nice and secure. And then next I'm taking this leopard print hair extension. And this one you can't really see the pink, but I finally figured out how to do it right so the colors are vivid. So I like redid this extension and it looks better now. But yeah, I'm just clipping it in over there and now I think they're all in. So now I'm just gonna go in and straighten everything, make sure it's all blended and looks really good. It looks nice and shiny. So I'm adding in some oil as well. Oop, and I found another extension. So I'm just gonna add that in. I love how you could just throw them in and pop them in anywhere. And yeah, looking good. And I really want that scene style hair. So I'm just straightening the side of my bangs over. And I like push on my hair to like get it to cool down faster. But yep just straightening and brushing until I get it the way I like and then you can also add some hairspray you want to make sure that no tracks are showing so double check your head check all over get a mirror and look at the back if you have to adjust any clips that feel loose you want them secure in there so you don't lose any extensions on the floor in my previous video I showed you how to do my makeup so be sure to check that video out also, I have hair extension and hair dyeing videos coming very soon. I have a bunch of scene videos coming out, so make sure you subscribe. So that was my hair video. I hope you guys liked it.